Welcome to the Scrapbooking Inspiration Podcast, episode 35. Today, I'm joined by my friend, Cassell from scrapbookcampus.com. And she's joining me to talk a little bit about what she does in the scrapbooking world and also a really cool um, thing that we're all doing together this month for Christmas. Hi, Cassell. Hi, Melissa. Hi, it's lovely to be speaking with you. From all around the world. Yes. On the podcast today, we've got uh, Canada and Australia represented. <laughs> so, right. so, for those of us, those of our listeners who haven't met you yet, um, how about you just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do? Sure. I'm a French Canadian, so English is my second language. And I'm mom of three kids. Well, they're no longer kids. They're adults now. They're Mm -hmm. grown-ups. I have a day job as a speech-language pathologist, but in the evenings and weekends, I do things related to digital scrapbooking, Mm -hmm. whether it is teaching about it or creating scripts that helps uh, people create elements in in scrapbook pages. So that's part of what I do. And so we're a little bit similar in that um, we teach a lot of scrapbooking type of things. But um, as people might know, I use um, Photoshop Elements for all my tutorials and Cassell uses PaintShop Pro, which is another really awesome program. Do you want to just tell our listeners a bit about the program if they haven't heard of it before? Sure. Uh, PaintShop is made from uh, Corel. And it has similar functions as most other graphic programs. It's quite similar to a Photoshop element as far as functions and as far as price too. Mm. The uh, but there are, even though there are some similarities, there are some differences. So uh, Photoshop elements will do some things that PaintShop can't do, and PaintShop will do some things that Photoshop element can't do. Mm. So it. They're, they're actually kind of complementary programs, and I think uh, quite a few people actually have both, so mm-hmm. they can you know say have the best of both worlds. Yes, because one one thing that um, PaintShop Pro is probably well known for is for all the scripting and and tubes and all those kind of more automated, I guess, fancy things that you can do. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Picture tubes are. I think they are similar to like would be kind of stamping kind mm-hmm. of thing. Like just imagine little stickers, colored stickers, but there there are more than just that. So that's like the base. And the scripting also is a feature that would be similar to actions mm. for Photoshop and Photoshop Element, but it goes even further because it has uh, capabilities that even Photoshop actions can't can't handle. Mm. So, so it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So, as you can hear, we we may be slightly competitors, but yeah, there's a lot of similarity across the the two programs. So it's really cool. I love sending people your way when they ask me the Photoshop question, uh, Paint Shop questions. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I have a few. I have a few students actually who do own both because they want the best. Of both, yeah, so why and it, not? and because it's so affordable, you can often um, pick it up for a great deal and add it to your arsenal of absolutely looking stuff. Um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about the um, Scrapbook Campus and what and what that is? Sure, the Scrapbook Campus is like. Uh, that, that whole place where you can learn a lot of stuff about uh, beginning scrapbooking, about paint shop in general, maybe unrelated to uh, scrapbooking, like uh, could be using different tools. We have week, um, not weekly, but we have monthly live presentations on mm-hmm. first Sundays of the month. And they are all related to either scrapbooking or either paint shop. Uh, we have a class for beginner. We have a class for scripting for those who want to get into that. 
Um, I also have a, a longer course which is meant for either people who want to create their own elements for their own pages or designers who would like to create kits, elements, papers to sell in their own store or even to make just freebies. Mm. So we have that. And we also have different tips and tricks that you can uh, pick. We have a resource. Maybe you should rename it the library. Mm. Um, and we also have a weekly series uh, that started last January. It's called Remember When, which is all about telling stories, maybe to make scrapbook layouts, maybe not, maybe just to scribble or in a diary mm -hmm. about stories that we don't have any photos to document. So you know, if we don't write them down, we might actually forget them. Yeah, I love that series. I really enjoy reading your stories. They've certainly like sparked off a few things in my head. So yeah, I'll certainly link over to those things in the show notes so people who are listening now can go and check out everything that's going on there. It's pretty cool. So the reason I invited Cassell on today was to talk about something really fun that we've got coming up starting on November 24. We've got a creative Christmas bundle coming um, your way with 15 great designers putting together 15 products that will be all available for one very low price. And um, Cassell, would you just like to tell us a little bit about what you've included in the Christmas bundle? Sure. What will be included on my part is a calendar class. Mm. So it's going to, it's, it's a perfect time of the year to create a calendar, either with photos of the past year, plan for a 12-month calendar for the coming year, perfect mm -hmm. for a Christmas present mm. or for yourself. That could be done too. And at the same time, it includes everything you need to create the calendar. You have the quick pages, you have the dates, you have and all the instructions if you are a beginner in scrapbook, digital scrapbooking or using Paint Shop. Mm -hmm. So everything is included and it shows you how to simply import your photos, put them, move them around. And it's perfect for somebody who never touched paint shop or never tried scrapbooking yet so with this project they can people can start scrapbooking touch on paint shop and also since paint shop has a 30 day trial uh, there's no problem if you want to try that or mm. the instructions are fairly easy and you can probably use them for uh, with another program like Photoshop or Photoshop element although the specific of where you, you know, find this that, or that tool might mm. differ, it, it's no problem. If somebody is already familiar and comfortable with another program, they can certainly follow the same tutorials and everything can be done. Now, the pages are there, the alphas are there, the dates, everything, and it's also available in both French and English. Oh, that's great. Well, it's certainly um, going to be an international bundle, so it's it's perfect that you've got it in French and English because as we were just saying before we started the call, we've got people from all over the world contributing to our Creative Christmas Bundle. So do you want to just explain to people what the um, quick pages and alphas are who maybe aren't that familiar with um, digital scrapbooking? They might be like, oh, what's that mean? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, when... You want to create a layout, usually you'll be working with a lot of elements and papers and this and frames and photos. And especially for somebody who's starting, it could be a little overwhelming. So a quick page is basically a page that's ready-made mm -hmm. except for the photo. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to move the frame here and change the paper or move the button or everything is already there. It's like like pre-made page. With holes. It would be just like you would buy a frame, a fancy frame at the store, but it's digital. So mm -hmm. you open that and there are instructions on how you can uh, get your photo, resize the photo, move the photo, or rotate it if you need it. 
to make it fit in that little hole that's ready to get the the photo mm -hmm. and then you can you you have your page and alpha is simply an alphabet where you have all the letters or numbers or symbols so since all the pages are neutral mm -hmm. you can choose that the number one will be for June or the number three will be for August and you want to put the month mm -hmm. on the page so you're going to be using those letters to write the name so that way you're not limited to you have to use this page for January this page for February you can just mix them around I think there's only one that actually has Christmas trees so this one is likely going to be for December mm -hmm. but everything else is going to be pretty neutral so people can actually really choose and arrange the calendar the way they want mm, that sounds perfect and it means that if you have you know certain photos that look better with one or the other it's easy to to just do that and then pop your letters all on and um, for your month if you'd like to and of course you could always use like a text tool or something like that as well if that's easier yes for you. and that's also explained if you for example you say oh I'm not sure I like that alphabet that is provided for that to match this page I have another idea I would like to maybe emphasize a color I have on the photo mm -hmm. no problem you can use a text tool everything is explained super so it sounds like it's, it's not just the resources but also the tutorials and the help you'll need to get started so I'm looking forward to seeing it <laughs> It'll be oh, great. you'll have fun. Yes. There are some exercises also for those who are not even familiar with, you know, layers and the basic manipulation of layers, like moving things around and rotating. You're not just going to just start with the page and, you know, have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. There's a little exercise in which I call my sandwich exercise. So Ooh. whether you're hungry or not, you're going to have a, to make a sandwich. <laughs> awesome. That's a great way to explain layers, I think. It, that'll be great. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing a bit about what's coming up in the Creative Christmas Bundle. I'm getting pretty excited doing all these interviews and, and chatting to people about um, what they're um, contributing. And if anyone's interested in getting on the list to be notified when the bundle goes on sale, which will be the 24th of November, you can head to scrapbookbundles.com slash Christmas and sign up there. I'll have all the links to everything we've talked about in the show notes for this episode, which will be at scrapbookingpodcast.com slash 35. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Cassell, and I'll look forward to having some fun playing with the calendar. And I hope you're going to show us what you do. I will. I'll have to share it and uh, show everyone what I created. <laughs> of course, we want to see that. <laughs> okay. Everybody too, you know, it's no problem. Everybody can um, can join in the fun and share their, their results. Yes, it'll be great. I'd love to see what people create. We've got some really cool um, resources there. All right, well, I'll speak to you soon. And um, thank you so much for listening to the Scrapbooking Inspiration Podcast. Thanks for taking the time to listen to the Scrapbooking Inspiration Podcast today. If you'd like to learn more, head to scrapbookingpodcast.com where you can find the show notes for this episode and the links to everything we've talked about.